Welcome to the Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast with your host, the Man in Black, a.k.a. Team Iblis. Each week we're here talking about the wrestling headlines and covering everything from Impact Wrestling to SmackDown. Join us each Tuesday via MayhemNews.com and the Mayhem News Live YouTube channel. You can subscribe to both and keep up with wrestling news and our show. Welcome to the Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast for 9-23-2014. I am the Man in Black, a.k.a. T-Mib Lives. And this is a redo because I didn't like the way the other show went, so we're going to try this again. Uh, we got a big show. I added some more notes, some stuff that came in last night. So uh, we're going to start this off. Um, later on the show, we're going to talk about uh, Ric Flair. We're going to talk about... Uh, the Washington Post ad about Brock, Sle- Brock Lesnar and WWE's response to that. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan's possibly return date or estimated date. Um, talk about Josh Matthews. Um, my top ten talent wish list that WWE needs to needs to grab while they're you know while they're the good getting's good. Uh, if these people are, we're going to talk about Austin Aries and Honky Tonk Man and many, many more, much more. So let's get right into it. Dixie Carter, uh, in a meeting with talent, guaranteed them that TNA will be on TV January 7, 2015. That is the day after their Spike TV contract runs up. So apparently they have some serious people interested in their show. I, I wouldn't think she would, you know, actually guarantee it. If she didn't have son, uh, I know that there's people talking about their, they're talking to WGN America, Velocity, uh, and one other, uh, I think there was some mention of CMT, but that's not really, um, that's just kind of a, somebody said he thought it was CMT, so. Um, speaking of Daniel, uh, Daniel Bryan and, and Roman Reigns, uh, both of them are, should be both, uh, Coming back around the same time, uh, Reigns is actually rumored to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, there's a lot of, <laughs> pardon the pun, rum- rumble about you know him possibly being a surprise entrant, um, and you may see both of them. You know, they have done that on occasion. Have two surprise entrants. Um, Vince McMahon has reported uh, to have had a rule that no one on the Total Divas cast could hold the Divas title. Uh, but they are saying that that could change. Um, there have also been some booking issues as far as, uh, they, you know, since Divas is shot so early, they're trying to sync it with the raw storyline, and it's just, you know, it's probably a, a nightmare as far as trying to get it to match up. Um, uh, speaking of Flair, uh, Flair, if you don't know about it, Flair was recently hospitalized. He had some minor uh, procedures on his intestinal area. Apparently, a medication that he was taking irritated. Uh, he got to where he couldn't take in nutrition, couldn't hold anything down. They had to literally um, give him an IV, give all of his nutrition by IV. Uh, he is doing better now, um, so we wish Rick Flair better. Um, those med reactions can be really bad. Um, speaking of the Washington Post, uh, Washington Post reported that uh, Brock Lester possibly was not at Raw because of a heart condition. Uh, they described how he looked on the pay-per-view. Uh, a few minutes into the match, he was already sweating profusely. Uh, his face went to red, almost purple at times. He seemed to be out of breath. Um, but WWE has shot down this uh, ad saying that, uh, that none of the uh, none of those things were true, and that basically, you know, there was nothing wrong with him. He just wasn't there on Raw. But you know, uh, who knows? Uh, Josh Matthews is said to be working with TNA. Uh, there has been no announcement or actual claim that he's actually with the company, except and no TV announcements. But uh, they did leak a picture that of him outside the TNA headquarters. Uh, that was picture was very quickly removed. So um, I have a feeling they didn't want anybody to know it. But anyway, we know. Um, 
WWE legend Honky Tonk Man, who, as far as I know, the research I did, he does own the copyright to the Honky Tonk Man, um, says the WWE is trying to stop him from using that name, um, which actually surprises me if they're going to go up against the copyright, but uh, he challenged them to sue him before he sues them. So, you know, uh, Austin Aries, his contract is up soon, um, and he possibly will not be pursuing a new contract with them. Um, so we're going to add the, one of those to my list. Uh, speaking of the list that I'm talking about, that's top 10 talent wish list for WWE. This is the ones that I think somebody needs to be whispering in Triple H's ear, or apparently since he's hard hitting, hard headed, and, and hard of hearing, just pop him in the back of the head. Uh, these are talents that I believe Triple H and WWE should be breaking their neck to pick up once they become free agents. Now the top three are already free agents and they're high targets. That is Sting, Chance Prophet, and AJ Styles. Uh, why AJ Styles, Sting, and Chance are not already in the WWE, I have no clue. Uh, going on from four to ten, that's Abyss, Bobby Roode, Rockstar Spud, Cowboy James Storm, Supermax, ODB and Austin Aries. Now, as we say, ODB, Supermax, uh, Cowboy James Storms, and a couple have already, you know, from what I understand, some of them are already either leaving or going to leave, but the other ones still have contracts. So as soon as they leave, our TNA disbands. If that happens, WWE need to be breaking their neck to bring them. Um, as you know, we had um, uh, we had Night of Champions. Uh, there weren't many highlights. Uh, there were some, some things. Now, Cena did defeat Brock Lesnar via DQ. Uh, that was actually a surprise. Everybody figured that Cena would get his would get his ass whipped all over the place, you know. But uh, So expect to see Cena versus Lesnar soon. So we expect to see those that match again soon. Um, Rusev defeats Henry. Um... I wish they would start letting Henry be the world's strongest man instead of fooling around and punking him out. Uh, of course, if they're going to punk him out, Rusev would be the person that could possibly beat him legitimately. So, uh, AJD defeated Paige, Nikki Bella, and uh, there was no surprises there. Um, let's see. Apparently, TNA's long-term uh, contract talents are being paid on schedule. Uh, most two new talents are signed uh, basically on a small base pay or none at all. They're paid basically when they wrestle, you know, um, which if you listen to Total Divas, apparently that's the way WWE does it, but I'm not really sure if that's true or not. Anyway, because I don't work for WWE, so I don't know. Um, let's see. And apparently talent no longer has to have permission or receive permission from TNA management to actually uh, go out and work indie shows. Now, this is actually a positive for the indie uh, scene because you got people that normally wouldn't be in indie shows. You would get to see them. This is a positive um, and probably kind of gives TNA an actual, you know, heads up on um, employee relations because, uh, as you know, TNA, uh, WWE people can't work... Uh, indie shows unless they're just going there to be seen they can't most of them can't wrestle from what i understand so um wwe has orders its merchandising uh affiliates to start making stone cold steve austin t-shirts and large amounts um, which makes most believe he might work for the company in the near future uh, austin has said uh, stated that if the creative atmosphere and money were right he would not mind coming back to WWE TV. Uh, he would enjoy being there, and I think the fans would enjoy too. I think uh, him and Jericho need to get together and let Steve Austin use the Save Us, because I would really watch Raw just to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here lately, Raw is not interesting. I'm sorry. Um, creative gets a D. Um, maybe a high C, maybe C minus just to be nice. Um, Triple H announced that uh, next stars Adrian Neville, uh, Bo Dallas, and Sami Zayn will be in two, WWE 2K15, which which is kind of interesting because they're actually bringing some of the next stars in, which is good. Uh, of course, those next stars uh, have actually been on TV 
whether you could see their face or not, they've actually been in the ring on WWE TV, so not surprised with that. Uh, Samoa Joe was forced to vacate the X Division title due to not being 100% cleared after a recent shoulder injury. Uh, we don't know what was hurt or if it requires surgery. We just know that he had to vacate the title. Um, at least they didn't do like WWE and let somebody walk around with it for three months, you know, not defending it. But um, as far as uh, the WWE Network news, it is a prime place to find stuff that actually interesting if current WWE TV is not available. They are adding stuff daily. They are adding stuff as fast as you can think about it. And I think uh, if you cannot find any local indie stuff that you can watch on TV or internet, uh, that that is a prime area to watch and get your wrestling fixed. Um, I have mentioned several places that you can get stuff. Um, if you will follow Chance Profit on Twitter, um, you can actually follow some of the uh, organizations that he re wrestles um, with, and they actually have online stuff that you can actually watch the via YouTube. Um, if you have never been to an indie show, I recommend it. Uh, you will find it refreshing as far as fan interaction. Uh, there is no better interaction at an indie show. Uh, do your research. Uh, look for places that draw pretty big crowds. They tend to be more interactive as far as the crowds. Um, like you, like I said, you can always go to, if you happen to be in the Milwaukee area, you can always go to GLCW. That's Great, uh, great Lakes Championship Wrestling. Uh, it's run by David Hero and uh, him and Damian Nelson put on a real good show. Oh, got to leave. Got to put Kyle in there too, because his son's pretty much involved in everything up there too. So, um, and then you can um, uh, Outcast uh, Championship Wrestling. There's a whole list of them on YouTube, and a lot of times that's where you can find their videos because they post videos up. And a lot of them are done, doing doing stuff that WWE don't do anymore, um, or have forgotten exist. So. Um, as far as next week and, and, and some other shows we're going to be doing, I'm currently working on uh, Mass Effect 3. Uh, we have a gaming report, and uh, I will be working on that later this uh, later in the weekend. I have not finished the game yet, so I've got to wait till I finish the game first. I will have a multiplayer review and as well as a storyline. Um, Clan Wars for Call of Duty Ghost are now complete. Um, I've already did a video. You can look into the, look into my recent videos on the gaming report. I did a full review of Ghost, um, like a finale thing now that we've done everything we can do. Uh, but that has been the show today. I appreciate it. Uh, kind of a short show, but we did a lot of information. Uh, this time, always look at the end of my videos. I have my sponsors there. I want to thank, uh, give a shout out to Throttle right now, who does our current, um, theme music that you hear at the beginning of the show. Uh, if you have any topics, you can always follow us on at Mayhem News Live uh, on Twitter. You can uh, tweet me direct at TMIB Lives. That's at T-M-I-B-L-I-V-E-S. And you can also um, uh, follow us on Facebook. Just type in Mayhem News Live. And, uh, uh, we are also on um Mayhem News, uh, mayhem-news.com. That is our main website. That is who. That is one of the main supporters of this show. And uh, you can follow us there. And uh, if you are interested in being a writer, uh, drop me a line. You can also contact us through Google Plus at Mayhem News Live through our YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, you will get an update every time we put out a show. And I will appreciate it very much. That has been the show. It's been Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast. I am the Man in Black, a.k.a. T-Mip Lives, and we are gone. Welcome to the Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast with your host, the Man in Black, a.k.a. T-Mip Lives. Each week we're here talking about the wrestling headlines 
and covering everything from Impact Wrestling to SmackDown. Join us each Tuesday via MayhemNews.com and the Mayhem News Live YouTube channel. You can subscribe to both and keep up with wrestling news and our show.